Hi, uh, we're here today to talk about the tech trends topic of intelligent interfaces. Uh, I'm joined with Yasser, I'm Simon. Uh, so intelligent interfaces has been seeing a lot of interest this year, but what does that really mean? Really what we're talking about um, is the evolution in the way in which we interact with technology, mm -hmm. driven by improving hardware and software capabilities. Mm -hmm. Now, while it's often hard to predict, um, we've historically seen that these changes really impact the way uh, we live and work. Okay. Um, now, think about the move from typewriter to PC, the advent of the monitor and mouse, um, then the touchscreen, and now gestures and voice. They, these are all examples of how our interaction methods have changed over time. Um, now consider what intelligence in technologies can do to move that further along. People are not always the driving actor in a process. Uh, machine autonomy and learning can make a huge difference in this space, um, supporting contextualized interactions through a number of mediums, um, whether it's directly human driven, um, like natural conversation, or examples um, like the trials of systems that use facial recognition to determine who has actually used a service. But what does that really mean for organizations? I mean, is anyone doing it now? And what are we learning from this? Um, I think probably the highest profile example, well, certainly in the consumer world, is the connected grocery store. Um, the store is all about redefining the store experience using technology and changing how interactions are being managed. Um, as a consumer, I follow the same steps of product selection as I would in any other store. Um, however, now I can just walk out with the products. Um, basically, the intelligent interfaces have recognized me on entry, um, track me selecting and choosing products, and recognize which, which ones I've actually left the store with. Um, and then my account is charged accordingly. So I think in that example, the, the store has effectively reduced the number of steps in the process and really removed the need for staff intervention. And from a service perspective, if you think about it, um, it would seem to imply that um, we may be moving towards an inevitable shift in work, towards a labor focus on what I would call a curated experience at key times, um, mm -hmm. rather than an entirely human on process. And similarly, in other sectors, we can look to the impact of AR and VR on industries, such as manufacturing or medicine, where being able to supply contextually overlaid data enables a stream of important information to be supplied uh, to those in training, um, undertaking unfamiliar or complex tasks. But how does that actually translate into tangible business benefits? Sounds like quite an overwhelming prospect. Yeah, it does sound quite overwhelming, um, but I think the key thing is to start small um, and to think about your specific organization um, and which applications of intelligent interfaces uh, will have the best chance to help you meet your strategic goals. Um, really, there are a number of different benefit categories that um, can be looked at. Um, if we take our examples from earlier, uh, we can easily perceive that the smart store model leads to a reduction in in-store labor cost um, and, of course, brand perception. Um, and when thinking about the manufacturing example, um, even small benefits to task accuracy or speed can have a compound effect in efficiency gains uh, when multiplied across the entire organization. So it sounds like we're talking about the importance of strategic fit, mm -hmm. uh, but also maintain that clarity of purpose when investing in the area. Um, but are there any challenges that an organization should hold when moving into this space? Yes, no, there certainly are. Um, but I think it's also important to recognize that um, often the ideas that can shape some of these use cases will come from people actually embedded within current processes. Mm -hmm. um, so if anything, it's about clarity and purpose at the decision making level and probably some freedom and encouragement at the lower levels of the organization. Um, I think there are definitely challenges, though, as mentioned before. And probably the biggest one for me will be the hold and use of personal data. Mm. Um, as these data items are being collected and processed, um, I think organizations are held in check by legislation. Um, however, this does go beyond that because the actual owners of that data will have to willingly consent to the usage. Um, and most people are probably not going to be too receptive uh, to an interface that provides them with data that they didn't actually consent to sharing. And Simon, beyond that, of course, um, there are big cultural and process changes associated with implementation of these technologies. Um, and of course, the experience design and adoption components also really cannot be neglected either. Of course, there's challenges, but overall, I'm sold. Uh, but what should organizations do if they're looking to get started in this area? I think, first of all, this isn't really about starting a one big new project. Mm -hmm. uh, I think organizations need to begin by 
looking at how they can realign existing investment strategies and upskill or recruit resources from within the organization to uptake the new technologies and embrace the culture change while also encouraging innovation. Um, and Simon, don't forget that some of the underpinning infrastructure and services needed to support intelligent interfaces will also need to change. Um, for example, connectivity to support increased data traffic and cloud and edge computing and IoT uh, to enable real-time data collection and processing. But having said that, um, whilst it is a challenging space, um, I think when done right, the potential rewards are tremendous. Mm. Um, I think it could become a real industry differentiator. And I see potential in every industry to make use of this technology trend. Um, and I really can't wait to see what interesting direction uh, it takes over the next few years. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's one to keep an eye on. Thank you for your time, Yasser. Thank you.